Hello, friends and not yet friends. Today on Mary's Test Kitchen, we're making fat, juicy, delicious hot dogs perfect for your next cookout. You may have seen my last hot dog video, Scallion Seitan Sausages, which you guys seem to love, but this version is even juicier, saltier, and seasoned with hot dog type spices so it's more authentically junk foodie, just like a hot dog was always meant to be. So let's get started by getting all of our ingredients ready. As always, the full recipe will be linked in the description below. Grab your blender and add water, then onions and garlic. Using whole vegetables really helps with the texture, so don't be subbing them out for powdered versions. And the spices next. It's quite a list of spices, but they all play an important part, so try not to leave any out. Nutritional yeast, mushroom seasoning, and tomato paste combine to create a savory, satisfying flavor. Some might say meat-like, I would say yeast-like. <laughs> then apple cider vinegar and refined coconut oil. The vinegar cuts the weedy flavor of gluten, because we're not making bread here, folks. And the refined coconut oil adds fat and locks in the juicy flavors of these vegan hot dogs. Blend everything until it's smooth. Transfer the liquid to a bowl and it's time to add vital wheat gluten, aka pure gluten flour. Add the gluten a little at a time, stirring to incorporate before adding more. Two reasons for this. First, gluten flour is super light and it can kick up really easily, so this prevents a mess. Second, this prevents me from adding a little too much gluten and accidentally creating a dough that is too stiff. Never heard of vinyl wheat gluten? Well, it's made out of wheat dough that's been rinsed, so most of the starch is washed away and the protein, aka gluten, is left behind. Then it's dried and ground to make a flour. I've left a link in the description to where you can buy it online, but you can also find it at health food stores, some grocery stores in the baking section, and bulk food stores. This is about how I like it, so I'm going to divide up the dough. To make them really evenly sized, I'm weighing out the pieces. In this shot, I'm doing six pieces, but to be honest, that makes each serving a little too huge. So nowadays, I make eight from a batch this size. To roll them up, place a portion onto the middle of a sheet of foil, bring the side closest to you up and over, then pull back to form the seitan into a log shape, and roll it up. Twist the ends and secure, trying not to trap too much air inside. Repeat with the rest. By the way, you can also use pieces of cheesecloth or parchment paper instead of foil and secure the ends with kitchen twine if you want, but that way, it's just a little messier. These sausages are too long to place in my regular steamer basket, so I'm going to use a large pot with a rack at the bottom. Then we add water, leaving a bit of space between the surface of the water and the top of the rack. Stack up the sausages and steam over medium-high heat, and they should be done in about 45 minutes to an hour. Just remove the sausages with tongs or you can just let them cool before you unwrap them. These are good to eat right away as is, but I like to pan fry or grill them just before serving to get a little crispy texture on the outside. Load them up on soft hot dog buns along with your favorite toppings and enjoy! These paprika seitan sausages are aromatic, juicy, salty, and just plain delicious. They are really high in protein too, so they are super filling. I hope you give them a try and tell me what you think. Plus, take a picture and send it to me on Instagram. You know I love seeing you make my recipes and I love showing off your work by reposting or by including them in What I Ate Wednesday videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video on social media so more people can see that you don't have to sacrifice taste and pleasure when you eat vegan food. If you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I share new easy vegan recipes here on Mary's Test Kitchen each week. Bye for now!